Fat tire electric bikes are quickly becoming one of the most popular and sought after styles of e-bike on the market today. And for good reason. Extra wide tires boost comfort and rollover capability, while an electric motor takes the grueling effort out of powering the big bike. And we're starting to see reliable electric fat bikes dip below the 1500 euros threshold, making them an attractive proposition for anyone looking to explore all types of terrain. The Himoe Cruiser electric fat bike is a good example, as it costs little but delivers plenty for beginner and intermediate riders. The Cruiser enters the popular fat tire electric mountain bike segment with its aggressive stance and massive battery that promises even more range per charge. Himaway is a relatively new company in the US market, and the Cruiser is meant to be a solid multi-purpose bike with components for comfort, commuting, and even some off-road capabilities. First of all, the bike has great specs. Even though it comes with a top speed of around 25 km per hour out of the box, you can go into the settings and increase the speed limit. That allowed me to get it up to around 45 km per hour with a full battery, though the top speed drops lower when the battery is at a lower charge. That's pretty standard for electric bicycles in unlimited mode, as an electric motor's speed is voltage dependent. In testing the bike, we found the larger than average battery and the high torque 250 watt motor to be a delightful combination. We've ridden the Himaway Cruiser e-bike on different types of terrain, putting it through all sorts of challenges. The bike laughs in the general direction of our test route, begging us for more abuse and more range. I naturally obliged and found the Himaway Cruiser to not only handle many additional levels of review hell, but to do so without flinching. The Cruiser is built around a solid aluminum frame with nicely shaped oversized tubing and a sloping top tube. The alloy in question is 6061, which is very common on entry-level and mid-range bicycles across the country. Aluminum provides excellent strength to weight to price ratio, which is partly how Himaway ensures good value for the money with this e-bike. The bike has a 160 kilos payload capacity, which includes both the rider and the cargo. That makes it a solid choice for overweight folks who want to burn a few extra calories. The Cruiser features a suspension fork which soaks up most vibrations, so the ride is very comfortable overall. The electric parts on the Himoy Cruiser fat bike are pretty impressive. The European version boasts a 250 watt brushless geared rear hub motor with 80 nanometers of torque that can be utilized via pedal assist. Unfortunately, the throttle of the EU version of the Himaway Cruiser can only push the bike up to 7 km per hour, and I couldn't find a way to unlock this feature. If you guys know a way, please let me know. The bike also has quite a long range, with a 48 volt and 17.5 amp hour battery comprising 840 watt hours, the 55 to 96 km range rating is actually realistic. With moderate pedal assist, 96 kilometers from an 840 watt hour battery is also quite reasonable. Of course, if you modify the speed limit and ride at the top speed all the time, don't expect to get the same range. While riding, you can choose from five assist levels, which gives you a good range of assistance no matter how fit you are. The backlit display is massive and shows you information about the battery, speed, assist level, distance, watt meter, and more. It even features a USB charging port to charge your smartphone on the go. In our test, Himaway Cruiser easily maintained around 22 to 25 kilometers per hour up a very steep hill. Therefore, the motor has sufficient power, even though it's not as strong as some of the more expensive models. The Himaway Cruiser electric fat bike sports a nice combination of Shimano and Tektro mechanical components. Considering the 1600 euro price point, it does not surprise that these are all entry-level components. Still, they all perform without any issues and get the job done for the majority of riders. The bike comes with a 7-speed Shimano Altis rear derailleur paired with a 1428T freewheel. This will be sufficient to pedal up most hills, especially with the help of the 250-watt motor. Once you reach the top of the hill, you can confidently descend knowing that you can stop on a dime thanks to Tektro Aries mechanical disc brakes. In our test, they offered great braking performance, and we even tested how they would brake in an emergency situation. The suspension fork up front adds an optional bit of cushion on top of the already cushy ride, thanks to the massive fat tires on the Himaway Cruiser. 
One of the most eye-catching features on the Himoe Cruiser e-bike is the fat tires. With any fat tire bike, you have a significantly larger contact patch with the ground. That's fantastic for stability, and the increased volume of the air in the tube makes for a more comfortable ride. But it also increases the risk of puncture significantly. These are Kenda's 26-inch by 4-inch fat tires that roll nicely on paved and unpaved roads. Of course, they lead to more resistance when riding on asphalt, but that's not an issue when you turn the pedal assistance on. Plus, it's a good trade-off considering how much comfort they provide. These tires also provide a puncture-resistant layer and reflective sidewalls. You'll stay puncture-free, and drivers will see you at night from all angles. The seat on this cruiser is fantastic for this price point. In fact, it's fantastic at any price point. Budget seats typically aren't very comfortable to ride on, but the Velo Soft Saddle on the cruiser is one of the most comfortable seats I've tested. It's not a massive cruiser seat that feels like you're riding down the streets on a recliner. Instead, striking the perfect balance between comfort, ride quality, and price. Apart from the above-mentioned components, you can also get your money's worth in the accessories. Himoe Cruiser comes equipped with front and rear color matching fenders, a kickstand, a rear rack with a wooden tray, and a chainring guard. You can ride this bike at night as well thanks to the very bright front and rear lights. These are powered by the battery, so you can keep them on at all times as they don't use too much energy. Himoe Cruiser is built around a one-size-fits-most frame. According to the company's manual, this e-bike is suitable for riders between 160 to 200 centimeters tall. That's a pretty good range that ensures most people can ride it comfortably. The geometry is upright and relaxed, so you won't be leaning too far to the front of the bike. While riding, your back will be straight and you'll have a good overview of the road ahead. This makes this bike a good choice for riders with a sensitive lower back as it helps them maintain a relaxed posture. Still. Keep in mind that this is still a pretty big bicycle. It has a 190.5 centimeter total length and includes 32 kilos, which can prove to be a challenge for some petite riders. Overall, the Himoe Cruiser is an extremely impressive offering in the affordable fat tire e-bike segment, and that's not even taking the price into account. The massive torque from the 250 watt motor makes for a spirited ride that is unparalleled in both power and longevity thanks to the massive 840 watt-hour Samsung lithium battery. This entry-level bicycle keeps things simple and cheap, but delivers great performance in all the necessary areas. It has solid Shimano and Tektro components, excellent electronic parts, and comes equipped with all the accessories you need. Experienced fitness riders might bash it for its weight and its fat tires, but this is not something an average rider should worry about. At 1,600 euros, Himoe Cruiser is an affordable package that comes together nicely. Some details can be better, but the grand picture meets and exceeds our expectations for an e-bike in this price category. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you liked the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep up to date with the best products on the market right now. So, if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you all had a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.